Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Triple L with Deb. It's so good to see you guys back again. What I'm going to be doing today, um, today guys, is to get you guys to uh, look at the meal prep we're going to be doing. So I'm going to be doing a dinner. It's going to be um, some barbecue chicken. We've got two styles. And I'm going to also be doing some sweet potato, roasted ginger, coconut, and brown cinnamon sugar uh, wedges. Yeah. So... If you have not seen the health thing that I'm starting to do, I'll say something about following the health trail. So we're gonna incorporate some of those items too. But you won't even be able to know which one is which until I tell you, okay? So uh, yeah, I'm shaking my head a lot, guys, here too, because if you notice, I got them some gorgeous earrings. Zoom in, zoom out. And guys, these earrings are beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous. They are by one on one. That's the site you can look at. Um, the designer is Cecilia Horton. Guys, they are light as feathers. Look. So if you do have like the elo, um, elope um, problem with your ear for heavy weight earrings, these are light as feathers. They look like that they're heavy, but they're not. Guys, they're divine. I am loving every minute of these. And there's several other ones out there I need to get to. Mm -hmm. You might want to check that out. Again, one on one. One is W O N O N one. Let me start over. One W O N on O N one O N E one on one. Okay. So it's remember it's just like that then. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna also put down at the bottom where I got the earrings from and uh, who the designer name is again. Cecilia Horton. Thank you so much again. They're absolutely gorgeous. So guys, you can look for that below. Okay. But until then, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So y'all, as you see, we're also making some leg quarters. And I want you guys to see this because I've got a special barbecue and I'm gonna use on these, okay? So of course, you know, we're trying to uh, get some of this slimy stuff out of the chicken mess, we clean it, all this stuff off. I'm not trying to make any kind of broth. It's gonna be barbecue chicken, so we're just getting all this stuff out of here. And uh, cutting this little piece of this tail off. Um, yeah, I don't, want, I don't want any of that. Making sure there's no other feathers on here. So I'm at the end. As you see, I'm trying to remove this out and put them in a bag, guys. All this. Any of this white slippery stuff. Okay, I'm trying to remove that out too, guys. Okay? We just like our chicken to be nice and clean. And I'm going to cut any of this excess skin and stuff. As I said, I don't need all that. Yeah, in that fat. I'm not trying to make any kind of broth. Don't want all that extra grease. I'm trying to be a little bit healthier now. To eat a little post ends off here. Yeah. All this slimy stuff. Yeah. Got my spot in the sink. Yeah. Trying to get all that cleaned out. All right, guys. We can get ready to start seasoning them up. Okay? Watch this off good. All right, guys. So, I went ahead and put the seasoning stuff on. So, I've got, like, garlic powder. I got some rotisserie um, chicken seasoning onion powder, uh, paprika, uh, black pepper, uh, some uh, minced onion, and guys, so I just season everything real good, but I want you to look inside. Look inside. You see the seasoning and stuff inside on the chicken too? Yeah. We'll get them all that. We're going to repeat the same steps on the other side of the chicken as well, but what I want you to see is what I'm going to be putting on here. We've got this. Da -da. We've got some barbecue sauce, but look, guys, no sugar added. Yes. And if you look on the back and stuff, too, it just have um, no cholesterol, um, no saturated fat. Remember, that's one of the things we talked about. It It just have a little bit more of the sodium in there, which we also have to watch as well, too. Uh, the sugar is just like one gram of sugar. I mean, it's amazing. See? All on the chicken, guys. And this is going to be a meal prep for you guys, too. So we're going to have the chicken for two days, okay? So we're going to try to treat it like two different ways, okay? We're going to go ahead uh, on another day. We're going to like, uh, if you don't eat the whole leg quarters, so or you can cut them in half. You have chicken for another day. All right, dude? All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the barbecue sauce on. Got a little squirt. Ta-da! No sugar, guys. Raise barbecue sauce, all right? 
All right, guys, so now I'm just going to cover it um, with a little foil. Okay, I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And as you notice, I've got them laying on the, um, okay, on the back side, where the top side is down. And then I'm going to flip them over a little later, okay? And then I'll put more sauce on it as needed towards just at the end to give a little burn. Now, you guys know, too, that if you want to make your, uh, that grill taste, you can also get the liquid smoke, okay? It's called liquid smoke that you can put on your, uh, your grill, um, your chicken and stuff, too, to have the outdoor grill flavor if you don't have the um, outdoor grill or if it's too cold to go outside and you don't have an indoor grill. You can use that as well, all right? So we're going to go ahead and stick these in, all right? And we're going to finish up with the sweet potatoes. All right, guys, so next what we're going to do, we're going to make some sweet potatoes. We're going to roast it with some ginger. Ginger. And what I did, guys, where I just went ahead and I grated up like maybe two teaspoons of ginger. If you want tablespoons, that's perfectly fine. I've got um, some brown sugar here. Two tablespoons. I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to show you why. Because uh, I'm going to substitute some of it for some cinnamon. And I've got one garlic clove here, guys. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to hit it with a punch, a little cayenne pepper. Pop! Put that punch in there. All right, guys? So, hey, keep your eye on this prize here, okay? Oh, and I got one last thing. Look, I'm so busy telling y'all about the punch is I have some uh, coconut, okay? Some coconut flakes. And this is unsweetened. You get the sweetened, guys, but this is unsweetened, okay? Um, the same thing for the brown sugar. You can just use all cinnamon if you like, okay? But I'm just going to do a little bit of brown sugar, and I'm going to do some of the cinnamon, too, so I won't have all the sugar. And the, sh the brown sugar is not that bad, guys. It don't have the sodium in it. Uh, it has, like, 8 grams of the sugar. But that's perfectly fine. It's not that bad. No carbohydrates in it. So this is going to be pretty good for us, guys. And it's going to be good, sweet, just the way you like it. So I got two medium sweet potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and get those peeled up, Okay. And I'm going to put them in one of these kind of like this jelly roll bread pan, foil pan. I'm going to line it with some foil. But let's go ahead and get these peeled and uh, cut into wedges, guys. This recipe, it's going to be really good, y'all. It's just something different that we're doing with sweet potatoes besides sweet potato pie and sweet potato casserole. Or, you know, you can always do some uh, pecans on it if you like. Because we're going to roast it in the oven too, guys. Just a little something different. And if you don't like coconut, guys, you don't have to use coconut, okay? We're going to go ahead and get both of these peeled. Okay, so for a little minute, you know, to get the um, potatoes cut. Now, if you have a potato peeler or a uh, potato peeler, God bless you, honey. <laughs> you know I me, mean? I got this old theme here going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut the potatoes now in the wedgie style. You know we're going to do, that's the uh, french fry style, guys, okay? So, yeah, got to get a better knife in there. Oh, I'm just scared, y'all, too, I bet. Okay, so once I get these cut, guys, like this, then I'm just going to go back through them. So we're going to just stack them like that, and then we're just going to chop down and just make them into a french fry style, okay? Just a french fry. All right, guys, so these are the wedges I got. Look. Okay. Now, if you use large ones, you know you're going to get more. So this was more than enough for what I had. It was just like maybe a medium size one, and mm, maybe both of them was pretty much medium size. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna toss them around with some olive oil. And got I got this little pan here. It's more like a um a bread um pan, a bread pan, what they call it, jelly roll uh, pan. And I'm just lined it with some foil. If you have a little foil ones like that, you can use just a naked pan itself. All right, I'm just gonna put a little olive oil over these here. Put the rest of them in here. All right. Now, go ahead and put your oven on 450 degrees. And we're going to put them on for about five minutes on 450. Okay? 450 degrees for five minutes. I put too many, much olive oil in there. <laughs> and um, I should have just measured out like maybe two tablespoons, what I should have did and start with. But I just poured it, guys. And then after that, 450 degrees for 10 minutes. Uh, and then you can put it down to... Three, then I turn it down to 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes, okay? And let your sweet potatoes cook, all right? All righty. All right, guys, so here are the fries. Well, the wedges, okay? So I didn't put salt and pepper seasoning and stuff on like we normally do for sweet potato. Remember, this is the 
roasted ginger and brown sugar. So I'm gonna have some um, coconut and if you wanna use sweeten, you can. I'm just gonna dump it on there, guys, and spread it out, okay? I'm gonna dump a little sugar down here. This is the brown sugar, remember? And I may go back in there again, I don't know. Okay, and I said I was gonna add some cinnamon to it as well. And I'm just doing cinnamon by eye. Okay, and got a little ginger. Get all that out of there. These are my personal fries, y'all, so I can touch them with my hand. And a little garlic. Okay. Okay. And remember, I said I'm gonna put a little pow. <laughs> a little pow. So I'm gonna do just like a boom, boom, boom. Okay. So I'm just gonna do a little stir with that. Um, put my spoon here. So I'm just gonna toast this in the oven. Okay, on 350 for about five minutes, okay? So let's go ahead and toast. This is our little topping, okay? Okay, guys, I'm out. Okay, we've got it out. So I'm just gonna sprinkle them on the fries here. And guys, you can taste it. The ginger is like pow. Let me pull my arm sleeves back up. I have my arm sleeves down. Now y'all know what color shirt and stuff I had on. Let's keep it. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Do you have it? So now, guys, I'm gonna finish up with the. And what's that? Okay, now, guys, you're not in the dark. We put a little light on it now. Now, I was telling you earlier, you see the difference in the chicken, guys? These are leg quarters. You see how shiny these look here? Yeah. And now this one is not as shiny as because this is the one, like we said, that is sugar free. Okay. And of course, we've got the roasted fries here. Yum, yum. Hit it with a little ah, 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 ah. And there you have it. So zoom in and get a peek. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there you have it, guys. All right, I'm going to meet you right back. And there you have it, guys. Oh, guys, this is going to be so delicious, guys. And like I said, you can get barbecue sauce that is sugar-free as well, too, and still eat healthy. Remember, we're on the healthy trail now. Guys, I want y'all to look right here, too. I remember my first video I did, and I had the spring flowers. Uh, I was doing Easter time. And that was so good that I got flowers again today. Hmm, I'm loving them. Thank you so much for my flowers. But anyhow, who? So, I hope you enjoyed the chicken. It was not something we was intended to do earlier. Uh, decided to just add those in. Uh, and the sweet potatoes um, wedges with the roasted ginger, brown sugar, and the uh, coconut, guys. Remember, if you don't want any of these items, either pull back or remove it. The coconut has no sugar as well, too. The uh, brown sugar, of course, it didn't have any carbohydrates, no saturated fat, any of that stuff. I think it's just like four grams of sugar. And we only used a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons. And we put some brown cinnamon in there as well. So it's still healthy for us, guys, okay? So remember that, guys. And remember the earrings, guys, 101. You can check that out below, too. All right, guys, until next time, you know what time it is. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there, and we'll be back at you. Leave us a comment, a like, share this video. We're doing something great for everybody. I'm being blessed. You're being blessed. We all have blessings. Until next time, remember, it's all about the love, the life he give us for everyday living.